And we're going to play something that's not quite like anything else you've tried before. It is called Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. It was originally a DS game. Uh, and it's from the Zero Escape series. Uh, basically, it's a visual novel adventure game with uh, uh, room escape elements. Uh, multiple endings, uh, pretty tense storyline. I actually beat this game. I was... When I played it the first time, I was hooked. I went through the uh, the DS title like in like two days. Like I just I I blazed through it, and then you know you could try a different ending to get uh, to see what's going on. There's like the true ending and all that. So I, I didn't really go too nuts over there, but I every ever since I saw that it was available for PC, I'm like this would be a perfect game to just show off because there's nothing quite like it. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of reading, and hopefully I'll try and make it interesting with voices. But we'll see how well that works. Oh, cutscene. Why do I... No. No. Why? Why do I know? These things... It's still a little loud. Yeah, this game, it's... Imagine the... Yo, turn up! Oh, you're just in time, man. This is gonna be great. Yeah. This is basically Saw, the game, but way better. Like, it's sort of that situation. Seek a door that carries an eye and get the hell out of here. Nine people. Alright, I'm gonna actually start the game. Because that was just a cutscene. How you doing, man? That was a lot of fun before, by the way. I, I didn't mind getting my ass handed to me. It was, it was still fun. You're playing with you and. Yeah. Agreed, man. Creating save data. Please select the save slot. Okay, this game has a bunch of different multiple endings. And if, if this. If the interface looks funky, it's because it was originally designed for the DS. Are you sure you want to save here? Yes. Right. Please let me know if the sound or the music is too loud or not loud enough. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this... Yes, there are two modes of play, novel and adventure. You can switch in and out of each. I hear novel gives you a better story, so I might just do that. And I might have to reset the... Here we go. Also, I bought fun stuff to have. A gigantic can of beer. Hmm. It's actually not bad. Things have happened. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the...? As they adjusted to the light, he realized he didn't recognize his surroundings. Okay, I might have to make it shorter. I'll fix that later. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to study himself, but he found himself grasping at empty air. Empty air. Uh, what? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down the cold gray floor. I'm gonna move the microphone a little bit closer. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, have you ever hell? have you ever fallen out of a top bunk of a bunk bed when you're half awake? That fucking hurts. A bed? Oh, hold on a second. I need to fix something here so I can see what's going on. There we go. That felt pretty far. That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Luckily, no. Yeah, no. I, I, I had that happen in college. Yeah. No, wait. That's not it. 
Is the uh, volume okay? I hope so. An earthquake? But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Welcome to your Where first room. Am I? Wait, it it stopped? What's that sound? That's five. Yes, five. What's this five mean? Oh, you're gonna find out. Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Yeah, this game. This game literally starts as a room escape. Hey, hello? Is anyone there? Open the door. hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Well, the English voice, voice acting is not so good. Five. That's, that's the same as the door. Good job, genius. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. I wouldn't recommend that. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the, what the hell is going on here? Bad things. What the hell? God damn it! <laughs> Turnip, what do you think? Should I go for the Japanese voice? So uh, The English is not impressing. And English wasn't hey, available anyone? on the DS version. Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I need to find a way out and fast. Here we go. Time to escape. All right, let's do it. Third class cabin, okay. Um, Alright, I appear I'm looking okay, it tells you what you're looking at, and you can see what's going on. So if I go back Operations during an escape. Driving and during an escape you're restricted to an area. Your goal. Search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q and A to move around the room, okay? About items. Once you obtain that item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay. Okay. Can I exam? And you can examine, which is nice. Looks like I can't do anything with this yet. Let's keep looking. Investigate with an item. The item visible on the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last select that item will be in hand. Okay. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change between items. Okay. What the hell? There we go. Picture frame. Note from the bulletin board. Red to blue. Dark to light. Don't know what that means yet. I I, I play, played this so long ago. I seriously, maybe like eight years ago. So I'm not gonna remember. What is the search button? Oh, here we go. The notes got okay. What is this? Maybe I could search this. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. 
There's screws keeping it the back on. I probably need to open this up. So let's keep looking. Does it seem like there's anything in the sink? This is the only drain in this room. There's a towel next to the sink. Okay, grab the towel. Why aren't you grabbing the towel? I say back out. Ah, so once you're in this, you're basically moving around. Then you need to go into investigation mode. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like the waterfall. Uh, I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. No, it's not. I need to get out of here. I have to figure this out or I will die horribly. Alright, let's inspect this thing. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure, wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. Okay, let's, ah! Screwdriver! There we go. Very important. Combine with... Action. Okay, and here's the picture. Ah, here we are! So it's a code. Oh, man. Wow, doing this... Alright. So we got... Uh, let's see. Red... Hollow red, blue, hollow blue, red, hollow red. Actually, it doesn't really matter now, does it? So we have seven, four, six, three. Seven, four, six, three. Seven, four, six, three. Combining items. I already did that, thank you. Yep. I think you're not. Nothing will happen. Try out different combinations. Okay. Screwdriver. Wonder why that's here. Already figured it out. Oh, and there's a key. Awesome. Let's see. If, looks like there is. Key? Yes. There's a little blue key in the bottom of this pot. Odd. Just take the freaking key. Nothing in here. Alright, get out of here. And. Oh, I see. Alright, get out of here. Classic uh, room escape. Always check under the pillows. There's a blue brief briefcase on top of the bed. No, I, I want to check the pillow. Can't see the bottom of the ladder. Okay. Oh man, the water's already up to the bottom of the bed. I've got to hurry this up. Pillow. All I'm going to find up here is that pillow. Okay, damn it. I chill. No dice is locked tight. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Ah, here we are. Alright, so... What did I say? Damn. Let's go to item. The code, the code is, so it was 7, you can see it from here, 7, 4, 6, 3, 7, 4, 6, 3. The key in order to enter a number, okay. Oh, nice, you can just, there we go. And nothing! I guess I'm going to need some sort of code. Alright, I'm already ahead of you, game, come on. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several minigames. All oper operations for the minigames are done by clicking on the screen. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you, you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Ugh. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to an... Alright, I figured it out. Jesus, come on. Thank you. What did I say? Seven, four, six... What? Oh shit. Open you stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack on this. Oh, maybe I was supposed to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me try that again. Seven. Six. Okay, that did not work. All right. Look around. There's got to be more stuff. Ah! Oh, good. A red key. What the fuck am I going to do with this? All right. Um, I should probably hold on to this key. No shit, Sherlock. Huh? Oh, what's up with my face? It's so lumpy. I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell he happened like a, to me? He looks like a Japanese Marty McFly. That's what he looks like. 
the hell happened? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Hmm. You want another... I don't... I don't know if you like to read mystery books, but there's a, a book by Peter, Peter Klein's called... Uh, was it 14? It's sort of a... Not a similar situation, but it's like this weird house of mystery thing. It's another good title. Oh. Am I gonna die? What the hell just happened? I'm back! Not like anyone will respond. This guy sounds like Spoon. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? None. A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. <laughs> Meanwhile... What? Somebody from the Borderlands. Who are... I... I can't... If I could just reach my utility belt... Oh. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in a game. I would like to play a game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. So, now you get the premise. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. I'm going to keep calling him Marty from now on because he has a vest. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. <laughs> Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. For mortal combat. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Get in there. There's nothing left on the mirror. Well, that's a mirror. Oh. Uh, so do I put the red key in here? Guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Oh, maybe I need to put the... Oh, dude, I think I... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, it looks like pulling the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red, and the display hasn't changed. I think I remember something about this now, but... Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Wait, hold on. We gotta go back to the clues. So you see the clue... Is we need to put red. Oh, no problem, man. Take it easy. Have a good one. Have a good night, man. Thanks for playing as well. Alright, I gotta put the red key and input the first two numbers, I think. Let's try that. No, that's not it. I'll take that key out if I can. What if I keep these as zero? It has to be one? Why can't I use the... Yeah, alright, alright. Maybe I'm missing a clue here. Damn it. Wait, what I didn't check is to see if there's a... Let's see. Well, that is also the blue briefcase, so... Maybe there's something else in here? Uh, the stuff in here is brutal. Puzzles here can be brutal. Oh. 
What the hell? Whoops. Wow! You can see the whole branching path uh, here. Let's be good. I'm looking for clues. I'm not looking for hints yet. Fine. Fine with. Nothing weird about this key. <sighs> so someone wrote a bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the picture, huh? Can I look up? Well, what the hell is this? Let's see. So he's painted a big red five on the door, so you can completely. Okay. Not completely. Ah! Can't bring myself. It's pretty flat. Okay. There we go. Thank you. We finally have something here. Alright, so we got square. Okay, now we have the two halves so we can put it together. The blue briefcase has. Alright, All right, so that's going to be... Okay, so zero. Zero, two... Six three. So let's try zero two six three for the win. Yes. All right. Let's see if these numbers work. I turn to the key, and looks like it's working. Yes. All right. Let's open it up. Yes! It opened! Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? Before I do that, let me get the code out. So this is gonna be... Well, we already know it's 7-4. So what, what does this need to be? 7-4... Let's look at the code. 7-4-8-5. 7-4-8-5. File screen. If you find any... Whoops, will be available on the file screen. Okay, press to open the file screen. What the hell? Okay. Alright, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number and intent. Yes, okay, we get it. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. The final single digit is your digital root. Uh, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 would be, uh, let's see, 6 plus 7 is 13, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 8 is 12, 2 plus 1 is 3. Boom. Or I could have just done it that way. Well, therefore, the digital root, okay. Uh, let's see, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 10, it would be 1. Therefore, okay, I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. 
Oh, it looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. And a stack of key cards, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta figure this shit out before we drown. I think this is good. I'm, it's out of the way. <laughs> Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Yes. What's the code again for this? The red code is again seven. F rock. Seven four. Eight five. Seven four eight five. Huh. Oh. New material has been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press to open the calculator screen. These calculator can also calculate a digital route, which will be important to the progression of the story. Okay. <sighs> okay. What does that do for me? About digital roots. Okay. Yeah, we already know about this stuff. Move with. Okay. Uh, enter a space to search. Speed up. Control. Switch angle. Q, E, or C. C. Item screen is tab. Select item is V. Bird's eye view is click map. Okay. C. Oh, seize the back button. Ah, you really can run this. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do with these cards? We need six and eight to get five, which is probably what we're looking at here. Oh, nice. There we go. We got all these things in the corner now. Telling us what to do. Flow. Wow, there, this has a lot of stuff going on with it. Okay. We can save. We should save. No. Oh. Save. What am I supposed to do? Where is the... Okay, I have an idea. Let's use the key cards on here. These cards have numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... not working. Why? Damn it. Do I need some other cards to get this to work? No, you don't. You need less. You need to find more cards now. No, you don't. You don't. Six, seven, and eight. If I just use six and eight, the the digital root of six and eight is going to be five. And five is the answer, I believe, since it's giant red freaking five over there. So how do I get that to work? else up here? Can I check up there? Man, that's a pretty poor excuse for a bed. I bet money this is for poorer passengers or maybe the ship's crew. I've got to die someday, but I sure so don't want it to be here. It's pretty high up there. Use the flipping ladder! There's gotta be something else here. Something I'm missing. Take us a piece of junk while I won't be draining any water here, I guess. There's nothing on the top of the shelf. What about these screws? Bullets and board, there's nothing on it. There's a towel next to the sink. Uh, 
Doesn't look like that water's gonna stop anytime soon. I have to find a way out. I would have been dead by now. I'm more stuff! I keep forgetting. There's some hangers on the pole. Alright, kids, let's do it. It's just like the blue briefcase. Yep, there's a lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Alright, let's put the key in. Engage. And the answer was 7485. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, alright, I take it back. I guess I can move the dial now, so it looks like I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers. Yes, I'm right, we know this. Let's give it a shot. Booyah! Yes, I unlocked it! It's opening. Ooh, key cards. Stack of red key cards. I combine the red key cards with the blue key cards, and I get absolutely nothing! Alright, now I should have what I need, though. What about those hangers? Oh, I. It's very easy to miss things. Especially when I'm always tired. Let's see. Damn it, not again! There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course! The files! That file said something about a digital root. A digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with. There's a 5 on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of 5? Yes, you do, asshole. I'm not really sure about this. Oh, whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. That would be operating instructions. Here we go. Three cards to select. Oh, three cards. Digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. After you select the three cards, yes, we get it. All right, so what do we need? We need six, and three, nine, nine, and oh, that would have been nice, but no, Two dice. Uh, seven. What will give me 14, six, and one? Boom! Shakalaka! Do it. Right. We're getting the hell out of here! Alright, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a, new, that's a new noise. Hmm. Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red. Now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go! The only door now to this room is right next to the weird device. Alright, get the hell open the fucking door and get out of here. Yes! We have escaped the room. You found it! Whoa! Uh, what do you think was gonna happen? Whee! Poor Junpei. Uh, my head! Junpei? Junpei? Junpei. Wait, is it... is it over? It's over. Ooh. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Spoon! A weird hallway. Yep. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Close the frickin' door! Oh. A door! Another door! Damn this water! God, let me go! Oh, huh, yes! It opened! What? What the hell? Welcome. This is the inside of a ship? Correct the well, window. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! <laughs> Dumbass! Sea deck! <laughs> hey god, the voice acting is not that good. I'm, I'm wondering if I should go with the Japanese. Also, can you hear everything okay? Because it's pretty loud in my ears, but I think it's a good level. B deck! Hurry! A deck's next! Ooh. What? <laughs> the hell are you guys? People! 
A lot of people. Um. Uh. Um, yeah. I guess it's another one of us now. Yes, shiny boobs. Welcome. Cool. No, it could be far worse. It could be hot stuff coming your way. And yes, I, I invoked it. That that's the worst. But uh, a, a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. No, you're not. You're just dressed like one. Oh, uh, well, okay then. I thought she was a dancer. S silver hair? Yes. <laughs> He's Quicksilver. Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. Now face my Arctic Blast! <laughs> It's my Arctic Blast! <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Oh, uh, I'm trying to burn that. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. He's a person, he's a man, but he called him Lion. Wait, hold on, the, the doors won't open? Come on, aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! Oh no. Pink hair. You gotta watch out for pink hair. That's nine of us then. Prince? All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. I like how he, he's immediately labeling them. Obviously, that's not their names. It's just funny. Huh? Oh, boy. Uh, huh. Huh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Jesus freaking game. Ah. <laughs> it's like they're having a voice off to see who can do the worst freaking sound effect with their voice. What was that all about? Uh -huh. Ooh, ah. oh, uh. Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh -huh. <laughs> the doors on A deck are no good. God. We gotta check the doors on B deck. <laughs> Bear my Arctic blood. It doesn't matter. It's still funny. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey, man. That was dangerous. Huh? Oh, my God. Say ha one more time, motherfucker. Say ha! Say ha! Jesus. Four? Oh, my God. And this one says... Five. That's your number. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too! Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? The back and forth between these characters, though, as you go along, is really funny, though. Open! Damn. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way! Oh, here he comes. Hadouken! And he's got a, he's got a dislocated shoulder now. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. Yes. Put it together, dude. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... <laughs> Damn it! Like a 280 Are there pound. Any other doors? 280 pound dude slams against the door. And you're like, no, no, I got this. And you're like, a buck 60, maybe. He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was her. Oh, it was a girl. Okay. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly, 
No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei has seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei. Ser ser yeah, simi similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Oh, God. If he, He's going to say, huh, back. Watch. Wait for it. Wait for it. Huh? <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you and this friggin... Ugh. People don't talk like that! Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <laughs> All right, that's warranted. The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her, or so he thought. Faceplant. Oh. oh. Your knee is in my crotch. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He couldn't take his eyes off her, not because of how she looked or anything. No, because they had to have a huh off, right? No, the huh off was the guys before, but it's like, this is how we exchange greetings. We don't say hello, we just go, huh? Uh huh? Fucking Japan. He was, the f he was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. Oh, is that a pistol in your pocket, or you're just happy to see me? No, I'm kidding. Uh, for a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. It's Jumpy the squirrel! Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Akane, you're legal now. I mean, why hadn't he? <laughs> Sorry, why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kur Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? Ah, eh, what? Eh, woo! <laughs> That's only if you skip really fast, right? <laughs> oh, 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 you forgot. Oh, oh, there's another one. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment... I would like to play a game. What? What's that voice? Invited. What he means is gassed and, you know, made unconscious, then dragged. This is... That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. I like Silver. His erection began to speak to his jump. Hey, you must commence ocular docking with the... What? <laughs> what the hell? You must con... I can't even... I can't even say that sentence. You must commence ocular docking with the odd woman. Her eyes are so soft. What do you mean to do to us? Send Richard Epcar. Because that would be nice, but it's not. <laughs> See? He's Jigsaw. <laughs> That's weird, dude. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> Nonary game. 
What the hell's that? Scaramouche! I didn't get my game. I did set my game. It sets at nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. What are you talking about? Nine persons, nine doors. Yeah, I did the non-nary game. There it goes. Also, how you doing, man? Hopefully you are off today. What is he talking about? Hey, something in my pocket. Check <laughs> this out. Oh my. Hey, Don't ever I, say I that to too. a scantily clad woman. Unless you mean it. Okay. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Dude, that is Richard Epcar. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? It's Batu? Freaking awesome if On it is. I gotta look that up. Find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. You're off good, dude. Welcome to the non airy games. Uh, also known as Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. This was a DS title from years ago. Uh, it's like a visual novel with escape the room elements and a huge mystery. I figured this would be it would be a kick to stream this. Fucking spent enough money on it. Even on sale, this game is thirty bucks, but you get the first two games in the series. We will call them the numbered doors. Because that's what they are. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. <laughs> Must gonna be bothered to learn to read. The creator refused to play our voice actors enough. No, it's just the style of the game. It's it's like a visual novel style. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Okay, so uh, for you guys didn't see this, uh, digital root is if you take a set of numbers, the digital root of those numbers is. Okay, great. It seems to be working. Um, let's say you take the digital root of one, two, three. You have to add each of the numbers up, and if the number becomes uh, 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 is a uh, more than one digit, you add those numbers together until you get the digital root. So one, two, three would be one plus two plus three is is six, right? So that's the digital root. But if you did six, seven, eight, six plus seven plus eight, that's fourteen plus eight is twenty, twenty-two, right? And then you have to take two plus two, and you get four. So that's how, that's what digital root is. So if you're wondering, I had to do that to escape the first room. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. Oh, it's more than that. The purpose of the game is simple. <laughs> Math is scourge of lions, destroyer of childhoods. Math is awesome. We wouldn't have most of the shit we have today if we, if not for math. So you bite your tongue, sir. Purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. Yep. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. <laughs> Nines in the digital. Did you play this one before? I think you'll enjoy this. Hopefully. I actually went to Halifax and in, um, in Nova Scotia, where the survivors uh, ended up. Always remember, digital root of anything times nine is still nine. 
time nine? Oh, you're right. Three times nine is twenty-seven. That's nine. Eighteen. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five. Yeah. Here we go. So, pressure cooker. Ooh, looks like I might have to read. Let's see. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. Time to survive. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Now comes the fun part. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. Oh, they're gonna have a hum off now. <laughs> oh. oh. <sighs> what the fuck? Did they seriously take these actresses into the and actors into the voice booth and they're like, "All right, I need you to just do twenty-seven different versions of," uh, and we're just gonna put them all in the game, all of them. Whew. Oh, an actual word. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Nonary for nine. Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? You have that face. And the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? This is the guy that plays the Joker in Injustice. Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? No, we're gonna sit here until we die. Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this... this Zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Problem. Oh, you're gonna find that out the hard way. Sea Deck is now underwater. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. This could have been avoided if the dude just shut his door. But you the water guys level keeps that. rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry I about. I have Bayonetta. Um, it's interesting. See? The water's not that means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. Hmm. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusion? We might find something there. Oops, sorry, skip ahead. Oh, you're right. 
I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. I'm a little too click happy, sorry. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> All right then. Hey, Wolf, welcome to the stream, buddy. Enjoy. Sit back, relax. It's a mystery. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like his it voice actor. Appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots! Try using your brain first. Oh. Huh? Oh boy. Take a closer look. A keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? <laughs> no, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> a lot of, What's lot of this? grunting in this game. Lots. There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. Oh, no problem, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, I want to start watching Stranger Things, too. But my wife fell asleep on me. So we're doing this. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. No, yeah, so she can murder me? No, thank you. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? I'm sure it's worth it, dude. But uh, if you're already enjoying it, that's good enough for me. I will, I will, I'll definitely get through it this weekend. It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. Thank you. It's, it's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. Mm. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on a deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. You are so smart, girl. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. And a ladder. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. You drink a giant we beer just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Edgeworth is right. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. He speaks no, reason. I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. Why are they all in like weird like phone images? We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, 
Shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! No. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? He is oh, listening would in. Would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. I like how he's assuming that it's a male. Yeah, synthesized voice could be anybody. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them, to get us to do stuff, you know? I'm sorry, but didn't he just kidnap people? You missed this from the beginning, but I got kidnapped out of my own apartment, so I'm pretty sure Zero knows a little bit about who I am and where I'm from. It's ridiculous. But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. This is like the beginning of uh, Dark Matter. No, well, except they all know who they are. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I, I am the one. Uh, you cannot hurt me. Uh, if, you, if you guys have never seen, there was this uh, fan video of uh, Matrix video called the uh, Computer Boy. It's hilarious. It's it's ridiculous, but it's hilarious. But the <laughs> the, the main character does that. It's actually filmed in a lot of the same spots because uh, they filmed in Australia. And the director, uh, the director is from Australia, so they just did, they just did it, like, on location. It was pretty cool. Anyway, check it out. I'll be Lotus, then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. There you go. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Four! Eight. Oh. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Snake? Snake! My bracelet number is two. I like how they get all creative immediately. Like, couldn't they just say, call me two, call me three, call me five? No. No, snake. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh. I thought he was going to pick snake because, you know, the, the two kind of looks like a snake slithering about. Oh, well. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! <laughs> I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. Yeah, everybody knows I mean, your name. I your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh... Shirk! What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Jumpy in June. Uh, yeah. Okay then. 
So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Be a lot easier if they just went by the numbers. Some four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight. See, he's is got Lucas. it right. Colossus Bacon. What? Wait, 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 what is the new Colossus? Is that Wolfenstein? That means eight of us have revealed our Wolfenstein too. Ooh. Ah, that game really does look nice, though. Uh, I just there was a lot of stupid political crap surrounding it, though, that the game designers decided to just go with. So it's it's kind of annoying, but I hear it's a really cool game. The only one left is that glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. <laughs> You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh, oh, here we go. Nice, <laughs> dude. You gonna do it tonight? What number are you? My number is... Uh, mm. My number is... Uh, I came myself. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. He also does not seem to have a bracelet on his hand. Look at that. Hmm. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? <laughs> we shall call you Shaggy. Um, I'm like nine, man. Yeah. What's your code name? Oh, oh there we go. Uh, code name? Dude, were you even paying attention? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should, too. I don't know. I don't need one. I call myself shits myself, because that's what I just did. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Get yeah? the fuck out What's of here. That? You sure you want to know? <laughs> Full on goldfish mode. Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Oh god, no, 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 don't show her! I'm gonna do this! <laughs> hey! What the hell do you Told think you. you're doing? Gropey Mick Rupperson. Good job. You just broke like five different laws. Stay back! Ah. Really? <laughs> really? If you get any closer... I'll cut her pom-poms off! I'll cut her open! Uh. Yeah. That's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. This guy sounds like Chris Pratt. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, <laughs> I see. That's why I have to stay back. <laughs> I'm putting in the pink one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Sick and wrong, but funny. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. <laughs> then he starts talking like that. Here, verify. Uh. Oh my god! Now the question is, which pink one, right? <laughs> The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What is she? She's uh, Clover, so she's four. And if he's nine, nine and four is thirteen. Yeah. Okay, what if I don't? Cool. Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. Dude, this dude's intense. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it! Do it now! Uh, okay. Like this? Oh, she's... <laughs> take this... Take this conversation out of context. Oh, my. And then she beeped. So that's loudly. how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. <laughs> God, stop. Stop it. Stop it. That's... 
No! Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Brilliant! Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? Wait, 9 and 4 is 13, so it would be... It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <clears throat> what are you doing? <clears throat> Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Slow your roll, dude. Slow your roll. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? I'm just gonna put my hand here. Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. Very good. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. <laughs> Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Oh, there he goes. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. He is the other person. Get back. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine, four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of 14, 1 plus 4. Exciting, plus isn't five. it? In other words. <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. N -n -n nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! You are not too bright. Clearly he did not read the rules. Okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye! Clover! Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! <laughs> all right, everyone take a turn. Get it out of your system. <laughs> now the girls. <laughs> Open, damn it! Oh, okay, sorry. Shit! It won't budge. <laughs> right, right. Surprise! Rampaging tentacle beasts! Surprise, Aritsuki Dojo! Do you hear something? God. I mentioned that on stream. It's awful. Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You. you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! <laughs> Surprise Bible Black! Oh god. Dude. <laughs> this is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Dude, you pulled a knife on a group of people you didn't know just to get the hell away from them. Nice oh, knowing you. God damn it! Ooh, it's engaged, too. Why? Why won't it work? <laughs> How did the goldfish man against the door? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? <laughs> uh, uh, occupied? Occupied? Oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen! 
I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. Ooh, so he was the example then. It was him. He killed me. It was him. No, engaged because he was married. <laughs> he was married to the tentacle beast. Well, see, this is what I hate when they play the fucking pronoun game. <laughs> And then there was no beeping. Uh, Here we go. No? Beep? Okay. Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. See, she's she's watching out for the, the, the blind guy. That was nice. Let's see if we can open it. Excuse me. Sorry. It's beer. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. So, let's see. How else can we make five? What to do? Uh, let's see. Nine plus five is fourteen. Yeah, there we go. Snake and seven. Four, one plus four is five. Snake, seven. Snake! Think you could give me a hand here? Hmm? Nani? <laughs> God. <laughs> you got you got you got problems, Spoon. You got problems. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god. God, it's like a quesadilla exploded in here. Good God. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He it blew up. <laughs> See, now that's warranted. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Uh, are you feeling all like... like I just watched some dude's bloody remains? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Oh God, it's a Taco Bell bathroom in here. <laughs> Do any of you know oh, what God. the fuck is going on here? Oh, that's pretty, Zero. pretty accurate, dude. What's this nonary game? Come on! Any what the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> oh, man, that was fucking classic, dude. Oh, I wish oh, I had a quote system I'd edit. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Hmm. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. He... he ended up like that because... Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? We didn't even know his name. Blood. Oh. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <laughs> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> Ooh, evil snake. What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? <laughs> Sasha, what the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. 
<laughs> Pigs to clean up the mess. <laughs> they didn't ruin their wood chipper. Oh. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> Edgeworth's gonna All break right. it down. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Uh... Zero said... That everyone who verified had to go. Yes, I believe that was a part. It's fairly easy. Wow, isn't it great when the game quizzes you? All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. <laughs> the ninth Give man, this however, man a gold broke star. that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. Hmm. Let me to lay and <laughs> drop some science on you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Dude. Less you know smug, something? more explaining. Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? What the hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? Colonel! I found it in my pocket. I saw you lurking there, buddy. How you doing? I can only assume it is a message from Zero. Oh, hang on a second. Seem to be having what is the half toast? I don't know that emote. From zero, a message. What? What does it say? I'm doing all right, man. I'm enjoying this game. I've played a long time ago. I I always thought it was a good game to stream, and it was finally one on sale, so I jumped it. Ah, okay, lurking toast. Got it. Well, enjoy your lurk, sir. Um, definitely want to catch up on uh, uh, Euro Europa Universalis, but I need to. I definitely want to do the tutorial. Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Oh, that's not bad. 45 minutes? I'll try and do it this weekend. And watch Stranger Things. And play Guns of Icarus. And maybe do uh, the, the RPG with the <clears throat> Spoons RPG that he's developing. If he has it ready. It's going to be a busy weekend. Is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the day to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. Hope so. This is box in a weird headband. The mask of an effeminate man boy. What, what did you shove in my pocket? Spoon man, Jesus. 
and a place a small arm inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Oh, I thought the bracelet was the bomb. Oh, that's even worse. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. No, um, the Raiden. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh God, yeah, that was that was a weird game. In other words, you would be unable to report it. I suggest you do not try. But what if you poop it out, huh? End of game. I just had that thought. First time I played this, I never thought of it. It's like ten years ago. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand. Interesting. 81 seconds. A multiple of 9, uh, which is 9 is the square root of 81, and also the 81's uh, digital root is 9. So, lots of 9's. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever on its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. You know, now I realize why this game is so expensive, because there's a ton of fucking voice acting in it. Hmm. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. Yes, yes, he had that that yeah, the electric crotch grab. He was he was a weird fucking villain. He was very weird. <clears throat> Getting itchy. So long as the doors open, the day will not function. You were too well to remember this. Hmm. He's really thought it out, this zero. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the backside of Mary's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off, when you say go to Tecnia, the bomb within you will immediately explode. Oh boy. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a oh. time, you would be able to control your fate. Hang on a second. I just realized something. Perhaps this is better? Let's do that. I think that'll be a little better. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Wait, what'd you say here? Now we can see their names too. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Sorry about that, I didn't realize. There's another way to remove it to cut off the hand above where it is. The detect no heart rate of the severed portion of your arm. Yeah, I mean, they could pull a saw. And who knows if they won't do that. I, I'm not sure. Let's see. We got to see how these people outsmart it. And it's also based on the decisions I make. There's branching paths. So, let's see. 
teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Or, or again, you know, they can try and find a way to get a laxative and shit out the bombs and then run. Yes, but I mean, in Saw, that's the ending of the first movie. The guy saws his freaking foot off to get get out, and then he did it for nothing, basically. Oh, 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 shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Yes, you are the bomb. Oh... What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Ask the developers. Oh, there you go. I honestly don't remember. I I think I only saw the first one. You're trying to shit it out? Come on, give me that brown magic! Alright. I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? No. Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Oh, that's not news. <laughs> a doy! What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Shooting it out, then <laughs> working it. Goldfish Man had it, had it right. Just too much Taco Bell it was an explosive exit. <laughs> I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask though. Just inside his pants. Oh! No, I'm sorry. That Wait, mask, she's like 14. It was really scary. Sorry. Huh? You're not oh, special. So all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Did you believe that? I don't know if I believe that. I mean, I played this game before, but I honestly can't remember if that may mean something. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. How did you know that? So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. <laughs> She's my seeing eye person. Sorry. Siblings? Something about putting it in the pink one, what does that mean? Stop it. Oh, man. Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, your hair color is nothing alike. Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh god, I hate that name. Oh uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh god. No, his name is Junpei, but she calls him Jumpy because they went to school together. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei. Jun. Does any of this ring a bell? Huh. Ring a bell. Ring my bell. Ring a bell? Ring my bell, my bell. Baby, you can... Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multimillionaire. <laughs> he's trying to he's called jumpy he's trying to jump every girl in class that's awful a millionaire son well someone bought this boat and set up all of this 
Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group? Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. Maybe none of this if is real. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Hmm. Time's flying. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Why are all the prerequisite overbelted characters put in this mail? They usually were... What? What does overbelted mean? You're right. Very well then. Oh, There's you're talking about their, their outfits? Sorry, I keep. Sure, not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Sorry, I know I keep talking over them and I shouldn't do that. Apologies. Uh, well, it could be Final Fantasy syndrome. Everybody likes belts. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. Yeah, but... way to backpedal, dude. But what? Santa, Santa? <laughs> Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Uh, oh, Santa, not you too. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. Ah, paragons of humanity, these two. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. <laughs> Walk on your fucking hands. Nice, dude. <laughs> Reminds me, just got 60 inflatable Santas at work in a shipment. Seriously, who wants that many inflatable old men? What the hell? Anyone yeah. else willing to come with me? Yeah, I mean, there's some irredeemable pricks in the bunch here. I'll go. Or just pricks. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. Wherever you go, I will find you. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. How about this? Because I fucking said so! What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. Nine. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital route will be five. There you go. Seven plus two plus four plus one is fourteen. Wait, which one was two again? Oh, that's right. Snake, Clover, seven, and yeah, there you go. The digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. <laughs> oh, man. Can we stop with the rape jokes? Come on. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait. What about the other four? What's their digital route gonna be? 
Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Eight, five, uh, 13, two, ah, uh, 13 and six is 19. 19 and five is not the right our answer. bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, eight, eight 24. three, six, five. What would our dig- 11 and 11 is 22, two and two is four. Actually, it would work, fuck. Eight plus three plus six plus five is 22. So, the digital root of 22, two plus two equals four. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Hmm, it's almost like he wanted us to split up this way. Hmm. Then we or can not. go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. Oh, good thing I'm not going to see that. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. <laughs> Take Santa's shoes with you. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Could with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four, or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which door? Decision time, folks. I will leave this... Uh, I'm gonna leave this up to the chat. I think I did five last time. So, I, w I was interested in doing four, but what do you guys think? Of course, this is not really a democracy, but you're entitled to vote. What say you? Go see a dead body? Or just go in the other door and see what happens? She seems awful excited to see an exploded corpse. Yeah, it's like festival fireworks. I think I did five last time. And I did see something. And it was gross. But I don't remember. Oof. Wow, this beer is uh, taking its toll. Door four for side quests. Okay. I think I'm going to do four. You know what? I'll just do four. Don't want to put pressure on everybody. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. Why do you care? It be fine. It's no problem this way. Is, and then they're going to show the anime flashback where, like, you know, he was getting picked on when he was, like, eight. And she was like, hey, you big meanies. And he, like, fell in love with her forever and ever, because that's, like, every single anime ever. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others Hey, are you four! Uh. Now then. Goodbye. Hasta luego. Be careful. I actually want to see if I can do some sort of puzzle solving here. That'd be nice. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. <laughs> Jesus, God. Get off me, get off me! You jumpy! It's fine. Hurry! Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds. Sorry, Snake! Yeah, move it or lose it. Literally. Let's go! <laughs> he secretly swapped Santa's shoes when hey, he wasn't looking. How is it over there? Did you find anything? 
Please say something, will you? Dead. What's up, Laserdisc? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, something's beeping. Oh God. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? <sighs> oh God. Uh, uh. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. There you go. The beeping stopped. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, the um, yeah, the the goldfish guy died. Hey, horribly. guys, are you doing all right over he there? He exploded. Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? No, I thought the red was blue. Well, the dead is blue. Okay, sorry. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot. Yes, now we won't die horribly from exploding. We move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Hey, Roger, Roger. What you, Vector, Victor? Whew. Now it's our turn. Go through the I'll door. Go first. Okay. We ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's go. But you didn't give the other two a chance to say let's go. Come on. Everyone has to say let's go. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh boy. Some with the man boy and the belly dancer and the childhood friend. Yes. Oh no. I guess How many if you want to call them that. Think there are? Ah, fuck. We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving. Oh. Ah. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! The older dudes with the pink shot. Will you stop? Not everything is a freaking pedophilia joke. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Yeah, already. We live again. <sighs> He's going to die. We don't know. Yes, yes, everyone panted out. Uh, <sighs> looks like it stopped. Oh, I need a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> right, so There's another door at the end of the hallway. You missed the part where the person blew up. What do you want from me? Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A but cable. of course. That one's Mars. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Yeah, I know a bit I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Constipate much. There is so much gr uh, you want a pizza and ice cream? Uh, I had pizza today. I wouldn't mind some ice cream though. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. Mm, excuse me. The symbols of the solar system. Keel wants to put something hope mail into the hole. Ha 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 ha. Oh, th that's right. The sun. Saturn. And Earth. When our powers combine. At least that's oh, what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for. You want a marble and a coffee? Fuck, I wouldn't mind a cigarette right now, too. 
Uh, it's been a long time. Every now and then you still get the cravings, especially when you have some uh, alcohol. I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Oh god, not American spirits. <laughs> Those are so awful. Oh man, well, what was it? No, Paul Mall. God damn it. Thank God I never had Paul Mall. American spirits were. Uh, they're okay. Yeah, so, I looked the place over. I will disagree with you there. I'm pretty sure Marlboro has got the best taste. Maybe Camel. Camels are... I was on a Camel stint for a while. Yeah, Paul Mall's... Dude, I worked at a guy's house where I did, like, tech support for him, and the whole house stank of Paul Mall. Like, the man was like a chain-smoking fiend, and the house was like 100 years old. Oh, it was so gross. You're too used to it? Eh, not really. Again, I'm just saying from my experience in the past, Marlboro was probably up there. American Spirit was okay. Ah, oh, but what the fuck was the other one? Maverick. Oh, God. Maverick was pretty fucking bad. Never had Eagle 20s. Or Pyramids. But Camels were okay. Here's Newport. the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. I think she has the... Duh. Hello, Megan. And if anyone's actually watched Young Justice, she has the hello, Megan pose. Maybe it's the room number. Oh, Parliament, yeah. No, Par Parliament was all right. Parliament always reminded me of a deck of playing cards for some reason. The door on the left has a B92. And the one on the right says B93. Wow, we went to a weird place, guys. Sorry. Start talking to Sigs. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. You got Mavericks there? God, I remember that... Uh, Mavericks were, yeah... Nasty aftertaste. You people make my butt twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just sell them. Yeah. It was. I, I don't so smoke easy. either anymore. Like not for a while. Maybe this More is back all in part college. of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I don't sure like being objectified. Let's get out of here. Let's find it. <laughs> so, merchant of death. That's funny. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Oh, that's right. Okay. I think you mentioned you worked uh, some sort of uh, sales job like that. We got a new room! Now we can actually do stuff. Figure this shit out. <laughs> no, he works in a store, silly. We are in room 92. So we need to figure out how to get out of here. I think I'm going to do this puzzle and then get out. Because I'm getting tired and this alcohol is starting to really kick in. We call them bodegas here, dude. Or is that is that now considered inappropriate? Nah. Alright, item, file, calculator, flow. So I made my first choice. You see... So you can make the first choice. There's a lot of branching paths here, so lots of endings. One, two, three, four, five endings. My guess is there's probably hidden ones too, but... <laughs> I got a license to liquor. Oh yeah. This ain't the 80s. We, do we still call them bodegas? I When I was growing up, I called them the corner store. I don't know about you. I just called it the corner store because it's always on a corner. 
Always. Or yeah, I guess you can call it the deli, but you can still call them, call them the bodegas or something. The face looks as expensive. I wonder how much we can get for it. I guess I should do a voice for her. <laughs> Don't die. Don't lie. The man named Laserdisc is arguing that it's not the 80s anymore. <laughs> should I give her like this annoying voice? Jumpy, where are you going? Um, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Do you think maybe you could look around here a little more before you go? There's a lot for me to do here all by myself. You know, we're just alone here. You, me, and... and, and yeah. Oh my. Um, It's a foursome involving cattle. No, I'm just kidding. This is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose. Sucking on a human being's brain. Whoa, that's dark, man. That's dark. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Oh my. Your brain is so sexy. <laughs> Reminds <laughs> you of recess that one time, Jumpy. You remember, don't you? <laughs> Do you keep a water shotgun under the counter? Oh man. Boot today for being too drunk once all of them. Ah, that's good, man. That's a scary job, especially if you're doing late night. Oof. Oh, that's good, dude. It's kind of a weird looking picture. It's some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like there's room on the right side of the picture. There's a room on the right. Okay, so let's go to the right side of the picture. Can I move forward? There we go. Whoa, bathroom. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. Any of them look odd or out of place? They've all got geometric shapes on them. All right. Let's take a look at this. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used the shower once, so I know. Our hero. He washes, everyone. Awesome. That's your shower knob. Hey, you care to take a quick shower with me? No. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. It's just a shower head, there's nothing special about it. <laughs> just once? Just once. We've got a few minutes. I mean, it's not like our lives are depending on- oh wait. A collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Let's look at the toilet. Now let's check out the toilet. There's nothing there. The tank's empty too. There isn't even wa any water in it. Can I open the freaking tank? I find it very suspect that there's nothing to this place over here. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room where we can do it all night. And you can make me feel right. Whoa. Sorry. Now go back, oh, son of a whore. I'm gonna talk about the 80s, there we go. Let's check out the living area. Matches! Oh yeah, how's your It's like flavor? Mist only with the annoying better? JRPG elements. Uh yeah, basically. Well this is it's really a room mistake. Uh room mistake? Room escape. Was missed on PS1? Yes it was. Uh, there's a few different versions on PC. There was a version on PS1. I also... There's a game on sale on Steam that I picked up called Quern. Q-U-E-R-N. Which is very much a Myst uh, type game. So I will be uh, playing that at some point. It's just... Uh, I saw this game. I've actually been wanting to buy it to stream for a long time. And it was finally on sale. So I figured I'd do it. Room! Yeah, you got matches. They whisper into your mind, burn everything, burn the entire ship. <laughs> the yes, way. I'm fine. 
Oh, Let me not. see your forehead. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? No. Hey, come on! It's not like that. Come on! Come on! All right, I'll be the sap. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Oh, now I'll let him put it in my pooper. By the way, Jumpy. This, this I, I keep going to weird places with this this game. Sorry. Hmm. How did you end up here? By the way, Jumpy, could you jump me? Ha ha. Sorry. What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. He said it is necessary because it stinks in here. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? Why would I lie to you about this? What? <laughs> I, I was worse than you, man. I was worse than you. Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? You realize the same could be said of you. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Oh, there we go. Are you hiding something? <laughs> Slap option. He is in Commander Shepard. <laughs> Where's that Renegade interrupt? <laughs> God. Should have had the Omni Tool Blade. Dude, best best renegade uh, interrupt in the game. The only time I actually used one when I was I, I played full uh, Paragon, but fucking Kai Lang. That when Kai Lang was trying to sneak up on you, I was like, no, nah, this bitch is going down hard. Ah, and it was so satisfying. It was so satisfying to do that. What a chump. Was that ME two? I thought it was ME three. Yeah, well, they continued in ME3, and then it was, uh, yeah, Kai Lang. Oh, what boy. would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? Junpei is what we call a beta male. No, I'm kidding. You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? No, the best was ME3, when she's like, I came prepared. And <laughs> if you, uh, she actually dodges a couple, but she still gets owned if you're a renegade and if you're, uh, it, it is pretty funny. I forget if you still put her down or if she's like, I I, I trained. I knew I knew I was gonna come up against this, and she actually took lessons to, to fight you. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about Kai Lang's death. Oh, so satisfying. Cause I, that up until that point, Kai Lang was just like this annoying ass that just fucking just stole all your shit, insulted you, and he was just like this annoying asshole. Anyway, uh, it is a good game. It is a good game. The ending yeah, may color the entire series for you, but it is a good game. Uh, at least up until the end. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Do you want to know? Yes. Reveal your secrets. <sighs> Don't worry. FFX3. FF, FF, triple X. Only 18. <sighs> what? Time zero. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. What is she saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Wait, wait, did she just say she was 18 and a virgin? Stole all your shit, <laughs> Yuffie with the dick. No, there, there, there are plenty of uh, uh, no, there's yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was just saying, there's like, oh, uh, tell me. Well, I wanted to know what she was hiding. So she's 18. So of course she's so she's legal and zero times zero. I guess means, you know, she never pollinated her flower. She wants the tea. Just like you, Jumpy. Oh, God. <sighs> when I woke up, I was on D-deck. D. Well, you do have a point. 
I think that she's just that's just what she's calling it. Not maybe or zero show them, but eighteen times zero. Like who talks like that? I mean, why did zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> oh, not like me. I don't want the D. What? What? Spoon, what are you saying? Who are you saying it to? Context matters. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yes. Yeah, I do. The mountain is a so. genius. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? <laughs> Not even Domino's. Or Doritos. No, nothing. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I got confused. Oh. Um. Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal. Yeah, the principal's secretly a millionaire and owns the ship. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. No, it's always a fucking janitor. Because that man is. He's trained to be invisible. <laughs> D for Doritos. Yeah, I know. Well, that was pointless. I believe that's what they call flavor text. There's nothing being displayed. How sad. Oh, Looks like the drawers are empty, too. Couch. Jumpy, what are you doing? You don't have the time to be relaxing on a sofa. Oh my. It's a round wooden table. Wait, can I spin around? No. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I can move, but that doesn't really help me. I remember getting stuck here last time. Oh, more. Okay, what's this? It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shot? What? Oh, my! She she did it! She went there! Do you want to take a shower together? Oh, good lord. Yo! Ian, long time no see. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm just catching up on chat here. <laughs> Coconut chocolate chicken. <laughs> she wants... It's so... She wants the D. Yeah, she does, apparently. Whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you... Can you put in T for T's? Jesus. Too late to take it back. Oh, wait, that's me. Too late to take it back. Disrobe. My brain's already working out the picture. Oh, my. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. <laughs> Just, like, random fan service. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. Okay, let's see. How you been, Ian? All caught up on YouTube? Nice, dude. I haven't seen I haven't seen you on uh, Twitch in a while. Everything right? <laughs> Assume the position. <laughs> Assuming control. <laughs> it's a light blue blanket with designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. All right. Look, there's two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's a double. Uh-huh. Yeah, she is thinking about it. That's the... She's wondering. She's wondering. She's wondering if it'll really hurt when her hymen's busted. I don't know. Anyway. I'm saying really fucked up shit. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. Is her fever back? Yeah, she's got a fever, all right. Hey, do you need to lay down for a minute? I I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. <laughs> God. Hey, seriously, are you really okay? Who didn't play ME3? Uh, that would be Spoon. Spoon needs to correct that situation. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. Oh my God. Oh. 
she's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? What do you think she's thinking about? It's the same thing you're thinking about. Jun Junpei is a fool. My god, that's hysterical though. Oh, more stuff. This isn't a painting, it's a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find! Oh, I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. Nice. It is now possible to use the map screen. Skyrimoosh, you need to play ME3. Well, if you played ME1 and ME2, you need to play ME3. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Yeah, it does look like a baby bed. And it is a little creepy. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> so he's like completely oblivious. No, Junpei wants the... the... P? Oh god, never mind. You know, he's thinking about it. Like, she landed on top of him, and he started, apparently, in her luck feelings with inside him. She made him. She made his body feel funny. He's about as dense as dark matter. <laughs> I'm getting giggly. Sorry, guys. <sighs> map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, bird's eye view for the room. Nice. This ship is bigger than I thought. Uh, that's a very good point, Spoon. I think he just really is, um, does not assert himself at all. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Oh my. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, gotcha. it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... The actual Titanic? No. Use your brain, Junpei. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. <laughs> Junpei is a punk ass bitch. <laughs> no way. Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> but all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. <laughs> I'm king of the world! Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Oh, yeah. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. <sighs> Is that true? Is it really the worst accident in history? It's probably one of the worst... Uh... At sea accidents. Accidents at sea. Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. <laughs> Climb aboard, all right, Junpei? <laughs> A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? The Hindenburg was, was uh, another nasty accident, yeah. But I, I, don't, I don't think there was... I think that was like 300 people. The Titanic was, was, was pretty nasty. I actually went to the cemetery where a lot of the, um, a lot of the victims were, uh, buried. And, I'm, you know, it's a very weird thing. You go to a cemetery, and yes, it, it was part of a tour, but, you know, respect the dead. Don't walk all over, you know, right near the tombstones. Like, you're basically walking on top of where the bodies are underneath. You know, there were people posing around tombstones, like, like leaning on it, like bunching together, like big smiles. I'm like, you're in a cemetery. 
and it's a memorial you know it's also a memorial for a freaking tragedy and yeah it happened a long time ago but that's just very weird that's just very weird to be like smiling I don't know uh, what happened Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? Do you know cursing stuff? <sighs> you know, I'm a man of science. I don't know, but... He's probably going to go along with what she thinks he wants to say. Because this is Junpei. Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so. I, to a certain extent. Yeah. Play it even. Play it even. Uh, what about you? Nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Okay, no. It was bad navigation. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which hmm. was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. With who? Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. <laughs> it wasn't a curse, it was a giant fucking piece of ice. <laughs> Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Or a stone captain, yeah, likely. <clears throat> Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Forever uh, cursed. Have you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? We are dying here slowly, right? And we're talking about curses. That's right! <clears throat> that mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. Junpei, you, know, you do know what pretty is, right? You're staring at it. I guess you don't. But she was a mummy. I mean, in life, you fool. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She oh. almost looked alive. <laughs> Jack's dead. <laughs> Paint it like a French model by Jack. Paint me like one of your French girls. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And yes, saponification, but that's not what it was. Saponification, huh? that's, that's a good one. That's not it. She wasn't wax. Oh, if you hold down the mouse button, it zooms through the conversation. Interesting. <laughs> you know what pretty is, right? Yeah, you're pretty stupid. <laughs> nice. And what was it? They say that she was frozen. Oh boy. What? They're frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. And then she thought out and, and she fought Tom Cruise. And then Tom Cruise, he like, like, banged her to death or something. Like, I heard that's how he defeats her. Like, he, he like, molests the mummy or something. Anybody see that movie? I'm not, I'm not kidding. I thought that was actually like, he did something weird to stop the mummy and that, and the mummy. I don't know. You know how a human body is more Stone than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. No, I'm thinking of the mummy, the Tom Cruise thing. They said he did something very weird to, like, uh, stop the... I didn't see the movie, and I'm not going to see the movie. But I, I like the Brendan Fraser mummy movies. I know... They're stupid, but the first one, at least, was was really good. <laughs> Did he? Oh, God. Some sort of water sports were involved. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Oh, talk about an ice queen. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so, too, but maybe it's true, and we just didn't know about it before. No. 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 I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. What are you smoking? Huh? That, nah, that seems too silly to be true. Thank you. Okay, Junpei does have a brain, at least. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. 
well, I want to show this. I want to show this girl a physics book. Jesus Christ, she's smoking. She's smoking something. D for delirious. Shit. Ice that doesn't melt. Yeah, yo, dude, it back away slowly, man. Does, back away does slowly. Like that really exists. Back away, back away slowly and run. No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? <laughs> not American. No, definitely not American spirits. Hold on a second, guys. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Wait, did I go here? No, I didn't. Oh. Dresser key. Sweet. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey. We don't have much time for that. Come on. Come on, it's not like... Oh, it's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. <sighs> yeah, yeah, probably gay. Or just very, very, very clueless. He's <laughs> so quiet all of a sudden. Uh, forget it, Jumpy! Maybe I'll start taking you seriously when you stop calling me Jumpy. How about that, huh? Here's the thought. She was shrink wrapped. <laughs> Chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Light bulb? It's a light. Thanks to it, we can see. Awesome. Alright. Is there a stool right here? That's the bedpost. Dresser is done. Can I take the water? What do I got in my inventory? What? All right, I got matches and water. So so far, not a whole lot. All right, nothing there. Nothing there. We already looked at the vase. Chuppy, where are you going? Uh, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Why is he calling it Lotus's room? Hmm? Yeah. So okay, we have to we have to nix that he's uh he's definitely playing for the straight team, I guess. This <laughs> new head was giving you a headache. She's saying jump me, <laughs> jumpy. How about you jump me? <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. All right. Off to the other room. It's like... Okay. Oh, so, dude, missing piece. Oh, there we go. It's a tile with a black and white pattern on it. Um. Hmm. Candle. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Alright, can I combine? I know. If I use these matches to light the candle. Lit candle! Boom! What's that gonna do? Oh, and this has a full case. Well, this is a, a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. You wanna take a look? Come on, you stupid thing. Open. It's locked? Yeah, it looks that way. Then we need to find the key that opens it. Oh, I have the key. Oh, doy. Damn. Guess that's the wrong key. He isn't playing for any team. He's a pro- He's he's a pro tag there, born as Unix in a hidden village far, far to the east. I'm sorry, I keep reading your stuff, man, but it, it is it is funny to read. I mean, I'm reading it out loud. Otherwise, we aren't going to be able to open this thing. Okay. Couch. Hey, check this out. This is a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. Table. Okay, can I go in that room? Let's go in this room. Junpei, I don't mean to pry, but... 
you lit that candle so we could check that room over there, right? I mean, it is dark, you know. Uh, yeah, so? Well, you need to take it with you then, otherwise there's not really much point to lighting it. Alright, fine. I'm gonna put the... let's go in here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Let's fix that. Table flip! <laughs> Break the glass, you pansies. Yeah, right? I mean, it's... so many of these, these um, puzzles can just be figured out like that. Stupid take the light. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. Is there anything out? Green, green, green. More of the same. There's a shower knob. I tried turning it, but no water comes out. This thing's a little old shelf for putting soap on. Whoa, look, Junpei! There's a mushroom growing out of the wall! Um, that's a shower head. Moron. Is there anything in the toilet? I guess not. The tank's empty too. Some toilet paper. We got two rolls, I guess. I got more in my place. If I remember, there was something about the pattern here that we had to follow. This is gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, right? Yeah, all right. There we go. Awesome. With the light from light from the candle, we can take a look over there. But it gets hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. But why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Thank God. Our, our protagonist is too stupid here. He placed a candle. Now we can look around a little. Locked? Okay, it's locked. But I have the key cure for that. Let's see if it... Yes! Yes, it worked! We need these tiles. We're gonna have to mimic stuff. This is the mirror for the dresser. Damn straight. Nothing weird about it, though. Fill the tank with the water from the vase? Why? Oh god, can I take the candle with me? It's still... A bottle full of water. I don't think we're gonna need this for anything. Curtain! It's quaintance for you! What else? Anything else? Two pillows in a pile. Oh. Pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. <laughs> no sexual attention here, at least. Yeah, you can see Lotus saying, hey, it's big enough for two. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out? Maybe it's a candle in the wind. Oh, there's a candlestick co covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, hey what's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right, it's all bumpy. Oh, that looks suspiciously key-like, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just like Phil... Nothing weird in the mirror, eh? Give me a minute. <laughs> Zip! Ah, sick and wrong. Sick and wrong, Spoon. I am gonna stab this so hard! Alright! Alright, pull that shit open! That vase, vase looks pretty expensive. Or vase? 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 There are some pieces of expensive looking ceramic and porcelain in here. Take the plate, but we're missing one. Hey Junpei, you got a minute? 
Ribber? I can't just think it was ribbed for her pleasure. Oh my- Oh god, ow! Ow! No! That sounds painful, dude! <laughs> Ripper. Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Hmm. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Uh, so you hold on to it, asshole. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> Junpei and I are just like, we're, we're in sync right now. We're, we're very much in sync. I'm, I'm predicting the text here. You know what I hate most in the world? People like you. <laughs> I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. Oh man, it's midnight. You Shit. hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? My <laughs> shoes are too expensive for that bookmark. <laughs> uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Oh man, I'm a little losing you. What? What the hell? Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hmm. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Damn, dude, it's a bookmark. It's not a freaking radioactive sample. What do you want to do? <sighs> well, I am just... I'm playing this as the straight nice guy. I'm not going to be a jerk in any way. I don't like confrontation. That's Junpei. He doesn't like confrontation, so... All right, sure. I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Do you uh, really hate those four words that much? Bookmark killed his mother <laughs> and raped his father. <laughs> yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. No renegade points. No, I'm playing this as a nice guy. I, I might play it as a dick if I... There are multiple endings, so I could play well, it worse. that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. A leprechaun shot on my face one time. I'll never look at a clover the same way again. <laughs> right in front of a what? Worried about the four oh, horsemen? God. Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. But I got I got Curse Girl in the other room talking about you know mummies being frozen on ice in the desert. So who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. Or, you know, today. But this is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. That nonsense is centuries behind us. I'm a little insulted. <laughs> Damn spoon. Jesus Christ. And why do you hate so dark so much? Because it's a half ass number. That's endurance. Not the best or the worst. <laughs> That's why. You, what? For so is average. A number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame ass middle number. Dude, do you have a fever? I'm, I'm not checking you, but do, do you have you... a fever? You play? Play? You mean like gambling? Do you mean like the stock market? Hmm, what would I say? I'm gonna go with gambling. You mean like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Yay, Junpei's not stupid, at least when um, it comes to yeah. facts. In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros, they call monkey. Interesting. Okay, he's mentioning nines and zeros. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> Zero's a monkey. 
What? <laughs> oh man, you're totally right. <laughs> Come on. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. You just drop the tens digit and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh. Yeah. I guess you got a point. Hmm. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine wins? Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Oh my of god. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. What? Huh? Huh? You don't know. Hmm? Nonary means something derived from nine, or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. I thought nona was my grandma. No, I'm kidding. That's two ends. Or three ends. Whatever. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn. The horse with one horn. Two is bi, like binary. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is tri. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. Na 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 After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And of course the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. Hmm. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? I see. Thank you for the fourth grade science lesson. So then Nona means nine. Or whatever. So, how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Where are Zero you going with hours. this? And finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. Well, you're assuming that it's going to be like that. The number nine is everywhere. <laughs> na, 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 man, boy. Boy. Number nine is everywhere He's in this game. got a real game. theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. Did you just say this? They call it the nonary game because. All right, thank you for some summing up your entire essay over there. Jesus, what is that? Hmm. We are missing. We have two plates, right, and a curtain. All right, guys. Uh, looking at the time here, it is twelve eleven. AM, I need to get some sleep because tomorrow I'm going to be doing a bunch of errands. Joy. And I'm going to have to get up at 6. So, I'm going to save it here. Continue. Save. Yeah, it concerns me that it's not actually... Yes. God, I'm going to be very pissed off if there's no... I'm just checking really quick. Ah, oh, scrub, you came... Oh, what the hell just happened? Scrub showed up, my game crashed. What the hell? Yeah, it crashed. All right, well, hopefully I didn't just lose all my progress. But I'm going to find someone to, to host, so hang on a second, guys. We got we got a group here. Let's find some... Oh, no, 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 undo, undo. We're going to find someone to share... Dude, I, I, I get up at 6 every day. Except maybe Sunday. And Scrub, man, I gotta talk to you at some point about uh, Revolt. I'm making pretty good progress. But uh, I still haven't unlocked Standard yet. So let's see who's playing. Let's see who's on tonight. Any of the Midnight Miscreants, we'll see. Since I am a member, let's see if we got anybody playing anything fun or interesting. We got co 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 co. What is this? Oh, 
Uh, oh, we got Dr. John Galt streaming right now. He's doing Dish GF5. So hopefully you guys are a fan of that. If not, I, I don't know. But let's go get my host. Yeah, that's that's me, Scrub. Um, except the problem is, ever after a while, the body the body just says, "No, fuck you. I need sleep." So I can only do that for so long before I'm a zombie. Uh, yeah, later, guys. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Um, maybe I can try to do this again next Friday night or maybe next Monday. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, please let me know, like if you if you like it or not. And let's give Dr. John Galt a bacon raid. Hello? Or something? You could just say hi. The fuck is a good night's sleep? Yeah, who knows, man. Anyway, thanks for hanging. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Cracking jokes. Uh, and I will see you guys when I see you. Uh, I'll be around tomorrow, so take care. Bye. Goat!